watching News 10 ABC in the morning, your local news leader. Welcome back. November is National Family Caregivers Month. We know that families are often the primary source of support for older adults and people with disabilities. I'm joined this morning by Sherry Wolkin, the Executive Director at Eddie Senior Care, and family caregiver Deborah Seely. Thank you so much for coming in this morning to talk about this, especially as we head into the holiday season. Yeah. So I wanted to start by asking you, Deborah, as a family caregiver, what that experience has been like for you and what you want the public to know about the role that you provide in your loved one's life. Well, first, I, I want to preface by saying that my almost 88-year-old dad, George, was the primary caregiver for mom. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about five years ago, and they've been together for over 70. So 24-7, um, he was there for her. So I'm more of the secondary uh, caregiver, but it was uh, a lot of work. There was, uh, our goal was to keep her life uh, so that she could have the dignity um, that she deserved as a 60 plus year uh, nurse herself. And so to say that it was challenging is an understatement, but it was very rewarding at the same time to see the love between my mom and dad. And without the Eddie, we never could have probably survived. And the word challenging is such an honest way to talk about taking care of a loved one because we know that it is not the smoothest transition for a family member who might be now needing a little bit more help. So uh, Sherry, talk to me about how the Eddie can kind of help families through this process. Yeah. Eddie Senior Care is a program of all-inclusive care for families. It provides the full spectrum of services from coordinated primary care services to transportation services to medication services. I mean, it's a full list, but it, everything is all under one roof. So caregivers can call one phone number when they're seeing changes in their loved one or they need support, and we have a whole interdisciplinary team that can help meet their needs. And Deborah, what was that like for you? It was, it was amazing. I mean, my dad, 24 seven, he knew that he had a partner in the Eddie. And if the Eddie couldn't get a hold of my dad, they would contact me. But a couple of the caregivers actually gave him their personal cell phone number, which to me really went above and beyond the call of duty. They're just amazing. So I wanted to also touch on the fact that there might be a bit of a stigma surrounding taking care of a loved one or a stigma about admitting that you need a little bit of help. What is your suggestion to families who are facing that impasse and don't feel totally comfortable speaking out when they need assistance? I'd have to say, just trust your gut, you know, trust your instinct. We were fortunate in many ways that uh, dad had friends who uh, had loved ones with Alzheimer's. So he just found out about the Eddie. I had found out about the Eddie and he just went right in and said, I need help. And we're looking at some photos right now of your loved ones. These are some great memories. What is your suggestion to families who are looking to maybe capture these moments or create moments for their loved ones? I'm sure the Eddie has some programs uh, where they can have some fun. Yeah. One of the benefits that we have at both of our PACE centers, so we operate Eddie Senior Care Centers in Rotterdam on Curry Road, as well as in Latham, uh, 385 Waterville Shaker Road. And each center has a primary care office and an adult day health center. The adult day health center can really be key for families. It provides respite for caregivers, and it provides socialization and meaningful, purposeful activities, fun, a hot meal at the center, so they know their loved one is taken care of. We 